Hey everybody, Mr. Fortin here, maskless from Lowell High School. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm the only one in here. Anyways, check this one out. Hopefully you had a wonderful class today. It can be a lot to think about these problems here. And uh, I think Mr. Ferguson might take you through this poster as well. Uh, but I'm filming this here just to give my own take on it here. Okay, so we got geometric means. We got proportion here, proportion, proportion here. Really three proportions we can set up with this diagram right here. Okay, so got these theorems. Let's think through them. Um, but anyways, uh, the idea is here, any right triangle, right, any right triangle, we'll start with these just general right triangles right here. If we drop in the altitude to the hypotenuse, okay, so that means from the vertex that on the right angle, go opposite the right angle, that's the hypotenuse. We'll call this the whole hypotenuse here. Um, some interesting things come into play. Remember, I have one triangle here, medium triangle, a small triangle right here, and then a large triangle on the outside here. And all three of those triangles are similar. To one another, okay, through AA. Right angle here, right angle here, right angle here, so they're all right triangles. And then we share an angle with this large triangle and the medium triangle, so they're similar through AA. The small triangle, we share that angle with the large triangle right here, so they're similar through AA. And then the small triangle, medium triangle would be similar through transitivity, okay, because if two triangles are similar and then one of those triangles is similar to another triangle, the first and third are also similar. Transitivity is an equivalent switch. Anyways, let's get started. Um, the first thing with this one here, we drop in the altitude. The thing you should have, uh, have seen before is that this was an interesting thing here. The altitude itself is a geometric mean. Okay, so if I make this blue here, right, I'm talking about the geometric mean of some other things here. Okay, so I went through this on class on Friday, but here, this side. Uh, this altitude itself here is forming, helping form two new triangles from our original right triangle. Okay, so the premises of our theorems is all talking about that original right triangle. Here, if we drop in the altitude, this altitude here is a side of this medium right triangle. It's also a side of this small right triangle in our situation with our three right triangles here. Okay, so this side here is the smaller leg, okay, smaller leg of this medium right triangle, and it's also the longer leg of this smallest right triangle. So we can figure out scale factor, okay, medium to small, by comparing this smaller leg of this medium right triangle to this smaller leg of the small right triangle. Okay, you with me? It's all very confusing because there are three triangles and it's about getting used to diagrams like these here. Okay, so I want to give these ones variables. Let's say here, okay, x here. This is going to be the geometric mean in my situation here. This smaller leg of this medium right triangle, to establish a scale factor with this similar triangle right here, let's label this length A, okay? Um, if I'm going small triangle to medium triangle scale factor, this to that, I have an A to x scale factor, okay? Small triangle to medium triangle. Why again? This is the small leg that of the small triangle. This is the small leg of the medium triangle. So I'm saying small, I'm saying medium a lot. It's a lot to keep track of here, okay? Well, remember, they're corresponding sides of similar triangles, okay? So that's why we can set up a scale factor. So let's look at this from a different perspective as well, okay? Because we can establish scale factor this smaller leg to this smaller leg of the medium right triangle, okay? We can't forget that this here, this altitude is special because it's also a part of this smaller right triangle. It's not that part here. We need that for scale factor. We can also set up scale factor from the perspective of x here being a longer leg. Look, it's a longer leg of the small right triangle. So then the question is, what's another way we can establish scale factor from the smaller triangle to the medium triangle? Well, we can look at longer legs, shouldn't we? Longer leg of the small right triangle is x. Okay, I'm going small to big here. Small to big, or small to medium, right? So look at the medium triangle here. So I got x here, that's the longer leg of the smaller triangle, I'm going small to medium. This over here, right, this distance here, this length here is the longer leg of the medium triangle. Longer leg of the smaller, smaller triangle, longer leg of the medium triangle. They should equal each other, shouldn't they? Because remember, corresponding sides of similar figures are in proportion. So those ratios are exactly the same. And there we have it, we have one of the relationships we can set up, and we use that to solve length problems, okay? Summarizing this up on the board, okay? When the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of right triangle, the altitude itself, okay? We're talking about the altitude of the original long right triangle, 
Um, it's the geometric mean between, um, and what we call this, we've got to figure out words to call this here. We're not really going to define this in the book right here, but not the, not the geometric mean between the altitude itself. What we're going to call this is the segments. No, the, the geometric mean, I meant to say the hypotenuse itself. We're going to call this the geometric mean of the segments of the hypotenuse that are created by dropping this altitude. Okay, so that's it. That's how the sensor. This would mean this is a segment of the hypotenuse. That's a segment of the hypotenuse because this is where the intersection is between the altitude and the hypotenuse itself. Okay, between the segments, right? And there are two segments of the hypotenuse there. So that's why we can calculate a geometric mean, right? Uh, the way we calculate geometric mean so far in this book here, the segments of the hypotenuse or the lengths, right? I should say lengths here between the lengths of the lengths of the segments of uh, no, the lengths of the segments of the hypotenuse here. Okay, so there's one theorem that we have written down. I only got one whiteboard marker, so that's what we're sticking with right here. Um, there's a second theorem that we should have arrived at as well today in our investigations. Hopefully you got there. Okay, so quickly watch this here. Part of the reason why I watch this video is because the things we're going to talk about next, the things that are geometric means, okay, the things that are geometric means have nothing to do with the original hypotenuse, okay? Meaning, what I meant by that there is that we don't look to the original hypotenuse at all for setting up the mean position, the geometric mean position in our proportions here, okay? What do I mean by that? I've talked about my altitude already, okay? We're gonna stay away from the hypotenuse itself. We're gonna talk about each leg, each leg in the next two examples here, okay? So check it out here, this guy here, that's going to be a geometric mean, okay? This guy down here is going to be a geometric mean, okay? So we pick things up from our theorems. When we drop an altitude to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, we pick up things where the altitude itself is the geometric mean of the segments of the hypotenuse, but the other legs, the legs of the original right triangle, okay, staying away from the hypotenuse, those are also geometric means here, okay? So I'm going to label this here x, put x in our mean position, Okay, and I'm going to label this x here. We got to figure out exactly what that relates to, what that relates to right here. Okay, so let's start with this one here. What two triangles is this side up like? Is this a side up here? Right. This is well. This is a leg of the original hypotenuse. Uh, the, sorry, the original large right triangle. Okay. So let's go. You know what? Let's go smallest triangle to largest triangle because this is the hypotenuse. Look at that. It's the hypotenuse of this smallest right triangle right here. Okay, so if we're going to go small to large, so I got so I'm talking this right triangle right here to this largest right triangle right here. Okay, if I go small to large, here's how I do this. Okay, so this is a leg of um, the largest right triangle here. Okay, so this is we're going to go small to large right here. So we got to figure out in the smallest right triangle, it's a hypotenuse, but it's a leg, right? It's a leg of the original largest right triangle. So then we got to figure out what's the corresponding leg here? What's the corresponding leg, leg, leg here uh, to x, right? Because x is a leg of the largest right triangle. What's the, the corresponding leg on this smallest right triangle? That's it here. And if we direct our attention to what? Okay, we had our attention for the blue stuff in the two legs in the altitude. So we're going to stay away from the altitude. We're going to look to the hypotenuse, okay? Check it out here, right? This is the smallest leg right here. Okay, I know that here. This is length A. Okay, length A right there. Um, I have an A to X scale factor. Smallest triangle to the largest triangle right here. A to X. Boom, beautiful. We got the scale factor down. Is there another way we can express scale, uh, scale factor? Indeed we can because, you know what, if we look at this, again, we're going to go small to large, small to large, small to large, right? This is in terms of uh, the smallest leg, A to X. Is the same as, oh, what's x of the small triangle? It's the hypotenuse, it's the largest side. Okay, so here I have x, and here I gotta do this. Whoa, I gotta go to the whole hypotenuse right here. Okay, and if you check it out, look at this here. Does this make sense that this is a geometric mean of that length and that length? Well, what's a geometric mean? What does the word mean mean in math? It means kind of middle, right? Middle length, right? so it's sort of an average or so. And yeah, this is smaller than this, this is larger than this, so that's one way to double check that you kind of set it up correctly. Okay, altitude here is a little bit larger than A, but it's smaller than B, so you know what? You probably set that one correctly if you thought about that. Okay, here an X is larger than A, X is smaller than B. Remember, geometric mean towards the middle. Okay, so I got here X to B, 
sets up that. Sets up that situation right here. Geometric mean situation one, geometric mean situation number two. Let's look to the other leg right here and try to figure it out, okay, shall we? So we want to go here. This, this is a side of the medium triangle. What is it? It's the hypotenuse of the medium triangle, but it's the longer leg, right? Longer leg of the largest triangle. Those are the two triangles that this side is with me. It's kind of hard to follow this stuff. It's the challenge of it. This is the, the fun. I get excited about this stuff here, okay? So this is a longer leg of the medium triangle. So I'm going to go medium to large. Medium to large, right? That's that it'll set up a geometric mean situation, as opposed to a geometric extreme situation. Anyways, um, so here we got here a longer leg. Here is x. Okay, what's the longer leg of? You know, the well, longer leg is that this is of the, of the large guy here down here in the x. Okay, what is it of the medium guy? Where did I find this? If I'm going small to large, and my large guy is this is a longer leg. Well, where do I find my longer leg of this medium triangle? Medium right triangle. Oh, well, that's right. It's right down here. Okay, right down here. So here is my length A, okay? And the length X is going to be wedged in between. Remember, we have a mean situation, geometric mean situation, between this, and what do we call this again? Right, what do we call A here and then A here? These are segments of the hypotenuse. So I'm going to fill that one in here, okay? Geometric mean between the segment of the hypotenuse. Okay, we'll get to the it, it is adjacent to thing a little bit later, um, and the whole hypotenuse itself. So let's make this nice and quick. I'm going to put B right here, and we're going to talk about why this is an appropriate way of writing the scale factor between the medium and large triangles in a second. Uh, because, well, scale factor is longer, uh, longer leg of the medium triangle to longer leg of the large triangle. Due to x ratio, would have to equal the scale factors of the hypotenuses of the two triangles. So I got the hypotenuse of the medium triangle is x, then uh, this uh, the hypotenuse itself, let's label it b, um, there it is, right? That situation would have to be true, okay? And we've arrived at our third conclusion based on that diagram. So there are three conclusions you can make here using the uh, right triangle where we're dropping an altitude here. And uh, just to double check that we did this right, um, this length here, yeah, it's longer than this leg, right? This is a leg of a right triangle for, for the medium right triangle. It says the hypotenuse is longer. Why am I saying that? Well, x is larger than a, but it's smaller than b. So it would make sense, right? I say that because you want to double check that you did it right, double check your answers. It would make sense that that would be your geometric mean between that shape and that shape, okay? So you don't want to just pick two smaller guys, right? And say, you know, that's the medium, because a lot of times you pick the wrong size. This is the right side here, okay? So to summarize, when you're looking for your geometric means, always look to the original legs of the right triangle or the altitude itself. Stay away from the hypotenuse, okay? The hypotenuse is going to be the extremes. Parts of the hypotenuse are the extremes of all of this, okay? Your means are always the altitude or the other two sides, okay? Let's go on the rest of this theorem right here. The altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Each, that's right, it's a corollary in your book because it follows the similarity stuff. Um, each what? Well, each leg... Okay, because I got a leg here, and I got a leg here. Each leg is the geometric mean between the whole hypotenuse, the length of the, mean the length of the whole hypotenuse. Okay, and the length of the segment of the hypotenuse that it is adjacent to. Okay, so remember the word adjacent means right next to, kind of right next to here. So x is the geometric mean between the whole hypotenuse and this segment of the hypotenuse. X is the uh, geometric mean between the whole hypotenuse and this segment of the hypotenuse. It's right next to it. Okay. Hopefully, this clarified some things that maybe overwhelmed you in class today. This is this is you got to think hard about this, don't you? Okay. Next, if you have any questions here, hopefully, I'm having a good time with Mr. Ferguson. Uh, it was fun for me to make this video. I like making videos for you guys. So, yeah, something you have questions. Thanks, guys. Bye.